Yes, started out on the television show Seventh Heaven. Now she's moved on to the big screen. Her latest film is Elizabethtown, and she was just named the sexiest woman alive by Esquire magazine. Please welcome Jessica Biel. <laughs> You How look are beautiful. You? Thank you. And so do I. And, and you look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Sexy. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I did. And then I saw myself in the monitor. I'm like, oh, I don't. Uh, no, you do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, welcome to the show. And congratulations. Thank you so much. Sexiest woman alive. That's got to be a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. I think you're holding up well. I think. Thank you. But um, uh, sexiest woman alive, it's just so, uh, it just feels like, you know, a lot, right? It does feel like a lot. I mean, yeah. I, I sort of feel like, um, are you sure? Did you pick? I mean, I feel like my, my parents must have voted for me. I mean, or paid them off. That would or, be weird. Or something. <laughs> if your you know? parents I mean, were how in could on I, it. Right. I just feel, I feel completely flattered and honored, but it just, it's, it's bizarre. It's right, right. Weird. Well, I think it's, I think they're right. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, I, I want to say, this is interesting to me because, you know, you posed uh, for these photos in, in Esquire, very, very sexy photos. But when you do film work, and it calls for some nudity, you actually use a body double, and it's someone that you get to choose. Is that right? That's right. Um, what is that like? I have to feel like that's that very strange. It's got to be the one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had in my life. You, I'm literally sitting in a room mm -hmm. with um, director and a couple other men who are um, a part of the the casting process, and women are just coming in. They they take off their clothes and they and so I. Do they and take I, off all their clothes? Everything or? except their panties. Right, right. And I I mean I I feel like I'm a guy. I'm like yeah, next turn around. All right, yeah, nice one. <laughs> I mean it's <laughs> it's a bizarre. I'm a guy and I've never done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, woman, all right, okay, and then over there, and then over here, and then over here. So weird. So, I mean, I, I just try to talk to them, and so where sure. are you from? Nice bum. Looking nice gray. bum, yeah. You know? I use that line a lot. So where weird. are you from? A nice bum. <laughs> it's really weird. It's very weird. Now, but you are, you're, you're, you're comfortable with yourself. You're, I was reading this article, you're very comfortable with, like, public displays of affection. You're not uptight yeah. about things like that. No, I love that. I'm really? a big, huge fan of PDA. I, I just... PDA. PDA. <laughs> it's, it's the slang. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, no, it's nice. You know, you see a couple strolling along, kissing, hugging. You just want to join them. I just feel like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet that guy would be okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, do you ever go up to couples and can I get in on this? Yeah, uh, you know, I actually haven't gone up uh, ever before, but um, I think that it's going to be a weird kind of scary thing if I do that. So, so I, you're comfortable I just, with I just, that. I just look from afar and go, oh. Oh, that's nice. I want to hug. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sure. Plenty of people around would be happy to help <laughs> you out. Uh, I am not like that when I'm out in public. I'm no, not. No, like I'm out with my wife. I'm I'm just like, yes, hello, <laughs> but I'm very, you know, I, I'm just not that kind of person, but no. it must be nice to be that way. I like, and you know, I, I like it. Affection's good, and, and mm -hmm. showing it in public and not being afraid, it's, it's nice. You need to show your wife some more affection. I will do it. I'll what do it do. tonight. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Woo! Depends on what's on television, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Um, now, yeah, but you're, but you're also, you're a fearless person. You've, you've done something that I've never done and that I have no interest in doing. You've gone skydiving. Yes. Twice. And, and twice. Twice. It is so exhilarating. It's so much fun. No, the first time, first of all, this is why I'm curious, did you jump out of the plane alone or did you do the tandem thing where the instructor is like hanging on to Both you? Both times tandem. Right. Um, because you have to go through a lot of training to do it on your own. And I wasn't really interested in that. I just wanted to jump out, experience it. Um, the first time, it was so terrifying to take that leap out of the plane. Yeah. I think I just blacked out. I think I literally just was like, oh, unconscious. That's why it's good that there's another person around, yes. I think. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I don't remember the free fall. And the person that I was, I was uh, skydiving, skydiving with who went after me said, oh, the free fall is awesome. Right. And I right. just missed it. Um, so I went again, and I, um, I knew what was coming, and I wasn't as terrified, and the free fall is killer. See, that's the part where people are doing loops yeah. and spinning around. See, I've always been afraid that if I went, even if there was an instructor hanging on to me, I would be so overcome with terror, and I'd be thrashing around so much, I would <laughs> knock him unconscious. Oh, right. That's a major problem. You don't want to be thrashing around. That would be me all the way down, just... <laughs> That's why I want, uh, I, 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 I applaud that you were able to, are you going to do it again, do you think? 
I think so. Yeah. I mean, if I'm in a great location, have a great view, I can do another cool free fall, I'm in. All right. Now, I want to ask you about something else. There is, I'm told that there is a drink, an alcoholic beverage that you discovered in another country. Was it in Europe? Yes. That you... You feel uh, you want to import to America because it's not available in America, but you want to bring it here. It, well, it, I mean, all the ingredients are available in America, but I don't think we've just figured out how to put them all together. Right. This was, I, um, I, I found this uh, shot. It's a shot mm -hmm. in Prague when I was shooting The Illusionist there um, mm -hmm. over the summer. Basically, all it is is a shot of vodka mm -hmm. and an or a slice of orange, mm -hmm. and you take the orange and you dip it on either side in coffee grinds. Coffee grinds? Coffee grinds. Like, I know it sounds weird. Okay. Um, and then you, you take the shot and you right. bite the orange and you get the, the instant rush of caffeine and sweet. It's, it's, it's a what, fantastic what is, shot. What is this drink called? Well, there wasn't a name for it. Um, so we were trying to, my friends and I were trying to come up with some, some great name. And right. On, on set, my, my friends started calling me Jess and then Jester and then it right. ended up being Jester the Molester. But I'm not a molester. It just rhymed. It was, you know, sure, a weird sure. thing. Yeah, it's so good we, to go running around saying I'm not a molester, molester on television. I know. <laughs> I'm not a molester. Uh, so so you want to call the very bad. You want to call the drink the molester? The molester. That's great. So you're trying to you're trying to import the molester into the country. Yes. And you're having a hard time. It's <laughs> you're gonna have some problems. I know. Why can't I get this molester into the country? <laughs> Um, now, this is very exciting. The, the new movie, Elizabethtown, is, yeah. this is a Cameron Crowe picture, yeah. and, you know, that's, i got to imagine, very cool. To be, he's such a brilliant guy. You so must be cool. excited. I'm so excited. I haven't seen it yet, but my experience working on that film was uh, just one of the most creative, mm -hmm. wonderful collaborations I've ever been a part of. He's just... He's so amazing. He's also very, I've met him, I've had the privilege of meeting him like one or two times. He's a really nice guy, too. So nice. I think he'd put you at ease. He does, completely, and completely at ease. And, you know, I was, I had a very small part in the film, and yet every day I was there, he just gave me all the attention in the world, and I felt like I was, you know, number one on the call sheet. And it was just, it was so great. It was lovely. Well, it's Elizabethtown opens next Friday, uh, so check that out. Jessica, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank great you to so have you much. on the show. Thank yeah, we'll see you next time. Jessica Beale, we'll be right back. Not a sir. We'll see you in a bit.